Woo wee, what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie P all day. So I'm bringing you uh, an O knife. I'm bringing you an, when I say O knife, it's O knife. The O knife beagle in black. Well, I think it's called the beagle black. I think that's what it really is, is the beagle black because it's black. So now I did a preview video where I showed you a bunch of its counterparts, um, some more knives, um, a funky knife that I'm going to be doing real soon and a bunch of torches. Um, so you've pretty much already seen the preview of this and that was just saying I'm going to be doing this knife and showing you the inner packages. So if you've already seen what's inside here and you want to skip ahead, we're going to be testing this thing today. That's what it's, that's what this video is. It is a actual test review not just a preview so for those of you who haven't seen yet what is in this package stick around um well stick around right now because we're gonna do that right now so this is o knife uh, as shown and this model of course is the beagle now o knife puts um puts the descriptions and features and all kinds of literature all over their products like all the way around if you don't know what you're getting into with an O knife, then you didn't open your eyes because they let it be known all the way down to messaging inside of the the wrapper, right? When you pop it open, the first thing you do, you take out that sleeve, you open it up, bam, you got something right there. It's always going to say something. You pull out your beagle inside of... Now, so far, all of their knives that I've seen, like their, their pocket knives have come with one of these and there's even something special inside I will get into but I really like that it's just an extra touch another thing that it comes with besides your care manual right and it comes with a full care manual lets you know everything you need to know but you take everything out and even at the end it's thank you these guys it's the little tiny things that a lot of places don't do that these people do that I can appreciate. So another thing that comes inside is this guy right here. And inside of that, I already took it out, is like a little chamois cloth to, um, and it's boop, branded. It's one of theirs. It's actually really nice. You could feel the difference on both sides, but it's a great way to keep your knife clean, right? So let's get into what's in this little pouch. So the, the pouch, which is also branded, is a nice, um, it's a cushioned pouch. It's not just a, uh, just not a flat nylon. It is cushioned. And here's the deal. If you watch the other video, you will know what's in here. But if you haven't, um, when I opened it, I didn't even realize it was in there until I saw something extra, like a little piece of wrapper. And I'm like, what is that little wrapper? And I thought, oh, it must just be more um, literature. And then I was like, no, it's not literature. I wonder if it's an extra thumb studs, like set of thumb studs. And I'm like, no, it's not thumb studs. I had no idea what it is. And then I opened it up and I was greatly, greatly impressed with this. So this is an O knife coin, right? And me being army, um, coins are what you're given as an honor, right? So if some general, if I did something, some outstanding work and, and the general found out about what I did or, or my command sergeant major, whoever, whoever's above me, what they would do is they would stick a coin in their hand and they would shake your hand and transfer the coin from their palm to yours and you would end up, it's called being coined, right? And it's a great honor. So for me to to just get the coin out of there, it's kind of like they're honoring the person who's buying the knife, right? So on one side, it is O knife and on the other side, it's the actual knife in the package. So depending on what knife you get, you get a different coin with every knife. I think that's... A, a really cool class act. I think that's that's really cool from the company. Um, and B, it's just one of those little something extras. And you'd think if a company is putting in all these extras, right? You got the cloths, you got the extra packaging, you got the extra literature, you got the extra things, and you got the coins, then they must be overpricing for these knives because they have to make up for all that. They're not they are not overpricing and even if i told you the price right now which is uh 54.17 right and that's on the olight page 
Um, and if you look at my last video, actually, I'll put the same links down here. I was going to say, if you look at the last video, I put links, one to their torch page and one to their knife page. Um, so the link will be down below. And also their Black Friday sale is coming up. I believe it's the 23rd to the 28th or the 22nd to the 28th. One of, it starts at 8 p.m. I think on the 22nd and it goes to like midnight basically on the 28th. So they are having a Black Friday deal, which means even though these prices are already better than anyone else's for this package, um, and I guarantee they're, they're, theirs is better than anybody else's for what's what this is, and I'm about to tell you. Um, but you're gonna get a Black Friday deal, so it's gonna be even better. That's crazy to me, that is crazy. So the weight is 3.44 ounces, it's not paper light, but it's light enough to ride in a pocket all day and be happy. But it's also got enough weight to let you know that you're holding a knife, right? This isn't some cheap little thing. This is a really good knife. Now, the blade length, oh, it's got a great snap to it. The blade length is a, well, it's a harpoon style, you can tell, um, but it's 3.3 inches in the blade length. Um, the overall length open is 7.6 inches. Um, the handle material is G10. The Rockwell is 5860. So you're thinking, all right, you just told us all that, but you completely and purposely skipped around what kind of steel it is. So is it a C, um, 3R13? Is it a, a 7CR13 MOV? No, no, it's not. It's not. Oh, so it must be like a 440 or a 4. Nope, nope, sorry. Sorry, not. But for 54 bucks, if it's got all that other stuff going on, it's got to be one of the cheaper. Maybe it's an OS8. Nope, sorry. No, it's not. Um, this blade is uh, 154 cm. That's right. So you're talking about a 154 cm in a package including all of this stuff with G10 steel liners, just blue hardware, beautiful, beautiful knife, completely an amazing textured um, G10, as a matter of fact, uh, and ambidextrous. You're saying for 54 bucks? Something's got to be wrong. Yeah, you know what's wrong? Is they didn't come out 10 years ago. <laughs> we got to do this now. So, man, it is so smooth and so nice. Now, we want to know how sharp it is. Of course, this sweatshirt's on as tight as any sweatshirt could be on the, on the wrist. Let's see. <laughs> I mean, I mean, do you want to know if it's sharp out of the box? Are you wondering, is it shave sharp, D-Bad? Is it, are you going to be able to create a spider there? Um, that thing is so, so smooth when it cuts. And one of, the thing, one of the things they say is your last cut should be as equal to your first cut. And so that's why they use the materials they do. That's why they use the edge geometry they do. That's why this knife is the way this knife is because it's supposed to last you. And last is like what it's gonna do. So I've got this little box here and yep, it's cardboard and yep, but it's full of tape and all that. And what I wanna do is I just wanna use this little harpoon tip and I just wanna press and pull. And it's like nothing, it just glides. It was like it wasn't even there. Um, what about, oh, D-Bad, every knife should be able to be used to self-defense. Bah, bah, bah. I'm glad it doesn't go all the way through and hit me in the arm. Um, but of course, you are going to be able to create some Black Widows um, and really, really give yourself a, a menacing, menacing blade when you get attacked by Bigfoot. So, it's a very solid, solid package. I love the color combination. It is a liner lock. This thing sits dead nut, just perfect. Uh, let's see. I think that's it for what we need to talk about. Let's just show it. Let's go outside. All right, so we just found out that it is hair popping, razor sharp. Let's uh, let's give it a little, let's give it a little once for. And I want to go with a short swing. I don't want to come from all the way back. I just want to. <laughs> Man, that thing is sharp. That is sharp. <laughs> it was like literally like a little baby swing. Ready? Just from here. Oh. I missed it, went straight through my cover. It's okay because it's a bad cover, bad cover. Let's try that again. Man, 
just a little tiny flick, I just opened up the entire bottom. Um, that thing, that thing is crazy sharp. All right, I dried it off a little bit. Now let's take a look at it in the sun. Uh, the blue really jumps. Um, I think they did a, a, a great job picking out not just a color, but that color blue is really, really nice. Um, this edge geometry, this just the edge alone is fine, fine, fine. The tip is needlepoint. Um, it is really, really sharp. It does have um, the 154 CM designation boop, right there. So you can see that your steel designation is on the blade. Um, let's take it over to the stump. Just do some of the basics. I mean, this is an EDC. It's, it's your pocket knife. This is going to be cutting some of your hoses and cutting some of your ropes and open some of your boxes, right? This isn't your camp knife. This isn't your, you know, your, your crazy, crazy take it out banger knife, but we still gotta make sure it's sharp and it's good, right? So let's do a couple drops. We'll just see the bite from a four foot drop and not too bad actually and it's dropping pretty straight for a uh, for a folding knife let's do a couple hard downward throws we'll see a the bite b if anything's gonna loosen because you're putting a lot of pressure on that wow that is so good in there um put a lot of pressure on that stop pin that went pretty deep um by doing that but there's no wiggling no wobbling no loosening, nothing like that. This G10 is so nice. It looks like carbon fiber. Uh, I just got in a shadow somehow. I don't know. I don't even know how I'm getting in the shadow. There we go. Look at that. It, it has a very carbon fiber look to it, which is kind of cool. Let's try um, half inch nylon rope. Let's just try a straight push cut without having to saw into it. And that was as easy as it gets. I mean, that's as easy as it gets. Um, here's something that I know it's not going to be able to do, but we're going to take a swat at it anyway. Um, being because of its size only, you can't generate. It's not a chopper. But I'm going to try and generate enough speed to see just how far we can cut into the wires in the extension cord and if it'll damage the, um, the blade at all. We went through a complete wire in there. Let's take another one and see. This is really hard to, to generate that kind of speed on this, so it's nothing bad for the knife. It's not made to do that. Ugh. Let's see how far we got. Oh, we, we did pretty good. We did pretty good. We cut into some wire there, um, and the edge doesn't even realize it happened. Just, it's nice, man. It's smooth. All right, so let's see. This wood's a little wet, but we'll try and, and get to the dry stuff in here. It's underneath. We'll find it eventually. So it's very uneven wood because it's already been chewed on and, and messed up. So what we're going to do is just peel away some of this exterior garbage off of there until we get a nice, nice piece of wood. Now what I want to do is just make curls. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's sweet, man. That is sweet wet wood and it's curling up really, really nice. Now we're actually getting into some of the wood wood. So that's the dry wood, <laughs> even wet wood's wood. Um, but it's it's fanning. It's fanning really, really nice. Um, and again, this isn't even a camp knife. This is, this is just a regular pocket EDC. But like I say, if you're out on a hike and you get stuck because of weather or time or something you got chased by a bear and you got to hide somewhere you need to make a fire eventually you're going to need something that you can trust at least to do that if you need to make a spear to protect yourself you know because sometimes your pocket knife isn't going to be what you rely on to hunt with obviously so you might want to make a spear or some arrows or things like that this little guy right here might do the trick i wonder i wonder i failed <laughs> all right it even lets you make a throwing stick all right so that would be a spear i guess so let's try the let's try the tire stab and i'm doing it with no gloves i'm just trusting this and that goes straight through straight through let's see look at that look at that <laughs> that was pretty nice look at this just a push it's not closing in on my hand 
that's pretty good. That's that's pretty good. The edge, beautiful, because you know your last cut should be as good as your first cut. Um, let's take it over here. Got the dogs in the yard. We're doing good. Now, this is not your skinning knife. However, EDC is everyday carry. Everyday carry means you don't know what's going to happen in your day, right? Your everyday could take you into the woods and get you stuck. So I got to know if it can do that. I got to know if I can actually just cut through leather and open up flesh so I can survive. Absolutely, it'll do that. All right, let's get through some of this. Now this, for those of you who have never seen it, is a really good test because I have a lot of knives that have a lot of trouble um, skinning through this. This one goes straight through where some knives just don't. I mean, that's pretty nice. It's just tear, 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 tear. Right through. And the edge is good. Now remember, mainly, you can literally do an entire review on this knife of opening it, closing it, putting it in the hand, and cutting yourself a piece of paper and saying, or cutting a little piece of rope or twine and saying, okay, good, that's a review because that's what you're gonna be doing with this knife. That's what you're gonna be doing with this knife. So literally, you don't need to be doing all these extra tasks. They're just extra tasks showing you that not only is this knife gonna be good for what you need it for or what you're actually gonna use it for because you're not gonna be using it for this, it's showing you that it can be used for this. And um, that's what that's what changes the knife from just an everyday regular knife to something a little bit different, a little bit more special, right? So now we are stuck in the woods. We're gonna need kindling, right? We got some, we got some blocks, we get them down. So we wanna make kindling, we gotta be able to hammer on this thing a little bit without ruining it. That's pretty good so far. Let's see, let's make another one. So being able to baton on a knife for kindling is extremely important. There's people out there that have no idea um, why you need to, oh, that's through um, a knot. That's through a knot right there, boys and girls. I was wondering why it slowed down. And it was no problem, man. Um, but yeah, you, you, gotta, you gotta be able to survive. And people who don't, you know, they, they like to, oh, you can't baton with a knife. It's stupid to baton with a knife. All right, well, if you're going for a hike that was supposed to take you an hour on an easy trail, and all of a sudden a freak storm comes in and you get stuck, you might want to make sure your knife is capable. You're not going to have your axe on your short hike. Just not going to happen. You're going to need a knife. And this knife, this beagle, is all the knife you might need. This could be the difference between dead or alive if you are stuck. But what it's mainly going to be is the difference between opening a box at work and not opening a box at work. Cutting up, you know, going through the tape and slicing something up or taking off that, that cellophane wrap around whatever you're doing. That's what it's going to be. And believe me, it is 150% capable of doing all that. Now, after going through tires, after ripping through the mesh, after batoning, after feather sticking, is my last cut. <laughs> as oh crap as good as my first cut it's hard because it's really windy yeah it is still shave sharp it is just i'm having a tough time in the wind but it's still shave sharp so when they say make sure the last cut's as good as the first cut i'll tell you what if i wasn't doing all that stuff if i was just like opening some packages ripping open some mail i would expect it to be that but after taking it and hammering it through wood, going through wet wood, which can be sticky, hammering it through a knot, which you guys know, um, and for it to come out just razor sharp. All right, I'm good with that. I'm really good with that. So follow the links below. They even have on the website, you'll see at the top, it'll say Black Friday. So it's already setting it up. Man, I got a few more to come. And I have to say that so far, these things are awesome. I am, uh, I am a fan. I am an absolute fan of O knife and their O lights. Ooh, I even did a little short in one of their uh, one of their lights yesterday. It was just a great little night. It made it, I took it out into nighttime. It was pitch black. Boom, like daytime. The, the lights this big, that big, literally. 
crazy. All right, so that's it for this one. We got some more coming up. More coming up. Pay attention. I am Donnie B. All day. Until next knife.